Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? It's your boy, the Georgia Picker, and I'm here with the wifey. Yeah, so, <laughs> so uh, if you guys haven't noticed by the title yet, but yeah, this is going to be a garage sale video. So it is 727 in the morning on our way to the first one. I think we have roughly about eight or nine garage sales for you guys. Um, not really too sure what to expect because majority of them didn't have actual pictures of their actual garage sale. So uh, it's kind of up in the air. So out of the eight or nine, we'll see how many we feature here on this video. So uh, let's go find some treasures. Morning. Morning, morning. What's going on? Oh, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. I checked your sleeve when there was a plastic there. Yeah, I like them. How much you asking for them? That one. That was a hundred. A yeah. hundred? It's, it's a, I don't know how old, whatever it was. Rare. Yeah. Yeah, and that one's fifty. Fifty. We just we just got, got out. out. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. We just got out. Facebook. Okay, yeah, we saw it on Facebook. Yeah, that's a y'all. Y'all are first stop. But I will tell you everything that goes like jackets and everything. Okay. I got you. Leather one's firm. Yeah. I got you. That's Jeff Hamilton. Makes sense. There she goes again. Oh, she might be grabbing. That's my neighbor <laughs> who borrowed my canopy. Oh, yeah? Is it, is it something here, too? And I need my canopy. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's all wet through. It's just not behind those tables. Okay. All all the way way up the I got a little U-shape going on. Yeah. All right. I got you. It's going to be a little hot today. Yeah, yesterday it was hot, hot. I think it's at 100 today. Is it? I think it was, what, 96 yesterday? Yeah. Last night at 12 o'clock, it was 83. Dang. Yeah, I'm ready for winter time. I mean, I like my summer time, but I'm ready for winter. Um, we moved back fall down. and winter all day long. We moved back down here from Tennessee about four or five months ago. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. The flies and mosquitoes. Yeah. The gnats. Gnats. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, we, we were stationed uh, in Virginia about, we, we, we've been out for about two years now, and we didn't have to worry about this up there. Whenever it got cold, it was like, like warm and cold, like a perfect weather. I love it. I miss it. Yeah. Uh, Virginia Beach, and then uh, I went. Up, I went up to Norfolk. Okay. Uh, short. I, I used to play asphalt for a living years ago, and I worked with a guy out of Suffolk. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, then last year I took a car up to Virginia Beach and went through that tunnel that goes under the under the water. Yeah. Um, what was your best price for these three items? Best price. Boss. What you think? Two my balls. Them three items. Um, it was, it was 150, I know, 150, and I don't know what that that um, You talk to them. See the balls. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just here. I got you. I got you. Mm. I'm just here. How about 140? 140? Yeah. It's 15 off. How about 125? So you figure 100 dollars for this jacket, 25 for that one, and then you throw that in. Let's go 130. 130? <laughs> Do you have change for 140? I do. That's why I'm out of it. <laughs> I just help put stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> them, them were my jackets, so. You're the one that comes for the food, right? Yeah. That's what it is. I'm the same way. I don't bring none. I'm there for the food. If it wouldn't have been so hot, I'd fired up my smoker and had barbecue out here. Too. Yeah. <laughs> it's just too hot to sit out here for the oil. Oh, yeah. I can't. Appreciate it. it works. I, I, appreci you. I appreciate y'all working with me on the price. Uh, I appreciate no problem. it. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Y'all moving? Yes. Where y'all moving to? Um, Indiana. Oh, that's a big change from here. Yeah, we're originally from Ohio. We've been down here since the summer of 86. Oh, very cool. Y'all have family up there? Y'all just, yeah. oh, okay. We do.
You know what you want for this stuff? Uh, let me ask my husband. Okay. You want me to take it over? Yeah, I'll walk, I'll, walk, I'll walk over there with you. I have no <laughs> You know how much you want for this stuff? Uh, yeah. Six or no, well, two mics and... How about six bucks? How about five? Three for five? All right, I'll make sure to pay her. Is that, is that three for five? Okay. Three for five. All right. You know, hold that for me? Yeah. I like that old stuff. I don't know why. Five bucks. Thank I'm you. Gonna, thank you. I'm going to take one more quick look. All right, thank you. Appreciate right, it. Thank you. Have a good day. Same to y'all. Pretty cool stuff. Roman, come on in here, baby. Yep. Roman. I don't want to Yep. Hey, Roman. Buddy. Hey, Roman. For a dollar, might as well. Oh, got records. Some good records. Yeah. Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Village people. Uh huh. I don't know nothing about records. Look at that. I might just ask them how much they want for them all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know how much you want for your records? Uh, they're two dollars a piece. What would you do for the whole tub? Just bulk price at what you think. Well, I'm keeping the tub. Oh, okay, well, that, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, just, just, just the, just these, not the forty-fives. Let me get my son, Paul. These are his anyway. Oh, okay. Hey, can you? Oh, how are you? Yeah. Uh, all your uh, vinyls. Yeah. Not, not, not the forty-fives, but yeah, all these. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you know what you would do for all of them? Man, so I mean, these these belong to my late uncle, and I've been okay. pressing some of them, um, doing doing the eBay apps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them go for and all this stuff, and obviously we're not trying to get those prices, right, right. But I mean, like, I just took the Survivor one out, this guy right here, and I think the last sale of that one was like fifty five bucks. Oh wow. I, we were yeah, I know. I'm like, how did nobody <laughs> would buy that for that at a yard sale? But yeah, we were yeah. kind of pricing them roughly around five bucks a vinyl. So, I mean, if you wanted to make an offer for the whole kit and caboodle, then I'd certainly be willing to, to entertain it. But just look through and see what kind of value you think they could give you. And I mean, if well, somebody, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, I buy and resell full time. Yeah, absolutely. And, so smart. And the thing is, I don't know nothing about records. I yeah, want, yeah. I've always wanted to get into it. And I saw a lot of uh, rock in here. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's the perfect oh, chance dude. to get into it. So, so yeah, look, this is, I just scanned this one on the eBay app. Go, got, like, go, to, go to a filter. Yeah, and then the sold, yeah, the sold comps, yeah. yeah. Where where is it? All the way right? down, all the way down. Uh, one up a little bit, right there. So because on the sold, sold items, yeah. items, yeah. So some of them, yeah. Yeah. So eight, eight, fifteen, seven. Yeah. Is, yeah. So seventeen. I mean, like ten. That's why I was saying, you know, maybe five bucks if you wanted to make me an offer for something okay. like that at half that price. Right. Then. Right. But I'd say just Four. take a peek through all of them and. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna see how many there is. Yeah, seven, yeah, yeah. eight. A bunch of people, okay. you know, they'll have something yeah. like this. So there's 40, there's 41. 41 of them? Yeah. Uh, so those, the whole box. Just make sure, because we got some Michael Jacksons in there. Um, would you, so if they were obviously at five a piece, that's way too much. That's uh, like 200 bucks. Um, but if they were like 250 a piece, it's closer to 100. Would you do something like closer to 80, 90, something like that? I mean, like. How about we be in the middle of 70? 75 and it's a deal. 75. All right. Yeah, I'll do 75 that. bucks. Uh, you, you wouldn't have to have a separate box because she said she wanted to keep the tub. Yeah, let me let me find you a box. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep piling on stuff. Yeah, great. I'll and, get you a box to okay. Okay. Right. You want me to throw this in there? Sure. And we just so we got 75 on all that. Okay. And I'll keep looking. Oh my goodness. Well, hello. Hi. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Oh, hi. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. 
Harry. Oh, yes, we all like the scratches. I know, we love the scratches. <clears throat> See, I was looking at that stuff. I wouldn't know what to get. Yeah. My husband would know what to get. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. Take your time. I can go ahead and get you all. Uh, the only I added was that as well. You're 77. Oh, yeah, awesome. 100. All right. So I, I, owe you. <laughs> I do. So 77, 22. Here's 20. 20. Man, y'all are awesome. Thank you for serving. Oh. Should be 23, right? Uh, boom. 77. Boom. Yep, my <laughs> man. Y'all are like the resellers. Like, yeah, hey, the, your match. Hey, hey, every dollar counts, I'm telling you. <laughs> you said y'all served in the military, yes. yeah? So, yeah, uh, yeah, we got out two years ago, and uh, yeah. Thank you guys so oh, much. You, you gotta thank us, man. No, no, I do. I'm, I <laughs> no, mean, we, we get to enjoy what we get to enjoy because I mean, to be honest with you, it, I mean, we're blessed to be here, yeah. and you know, we all? made our lives all yeah. the time. Really matters. <laughs> thank you, appreciate it. You know if there's any wiggle room on this? I was thinking 10 a piece, so 20 for the pair. Would that be okay? Sure. Okay. I don't even right. know what they are. Uh, I mean, you want me to check with somebody? or? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm, I rule this group. Oh. Okay? So. Hey, it's a woman's house. <laughs> happy <laughs> wife, happy yeah, life. I see you about the ladder. Finding more stuff. Yeah, I found two more items. I like it, dude. Um, <laughs> oh, you just on time. I'm ready for my Chick fil A. Okay. You doing all right this morning? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all? I'm doing good. Good. Oh my goodness, I love this stuff. You do? I like it. Oh, good. Make wow. Made me a deal on it. Made me a deal on them, huh? Yes. Let me see. They're them. all from the Danbury Mint, and they're really? numbered. Well, how much you want for all of them? I'm, I like I like Garfield stuff. You I'm do? A, honest yeah. To goodness, yeah. Honest to goodness. You'd even take the calendar uh, and the spice rack. If you make me a, a good deal on everything, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what is a good deal? Well, I, I know how much I pay for it. Let's see, so how, how much is this one? You got tags on them, right? Yeah. Well, I put $20 on Okay, so 20 40 60 out? Yeah, yeah, get your calculator okay, these out. are 15 These are all uh, 20 each. Okay. And then... Oh, that's beautiful. That I, like, I like that one. It's... it's I don't know what did I put on that. The spice rack. The spice rack was 30 And then this was... Um, 30 for the for the um and those are oh that's terrible. cool oh wow that's cool this is that so 30 for the every for the whole set yeah for the whole set I guess okay and then these. okay you could have them for two dollars a piece let me keep looking around because I might buy more stuff too. Oh, so let, okay. let me keep let me keep looking around. Okay. And maybe we can make like a bulk a, a big bulk deal. Okay. I love the Garfield toilet seat though. <laughs> you want that too? Uh, sure. For two dollars, why not? Okay. I like it. I mean, it, it says two dollars, right? Yeah. Really? <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Just cause there's just a lot of them. See, I don't know, some of these Gulfstream ones can go for something crazy too. I mean, man, man. I was gonna ask for how much for the whole box. If I bought all your hats, how much would you do? If I bought them all? If you bought all of yeah. them? Yeah. Sold. I'll take them all. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep looking, see if I can all find right. something else. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at 210 total. Is that right? I don't know. Y'all keep it up. 200. <laughs> Wait, you, you got the calculator. It was 200. It was 200 even. Okay. And then 10 for that, so 210. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah. All right. They're beautiful. They are. Am I sad? No. Okay. I've so it's probably got more. 1981. Oh, yeah. 2007. Wow. Okay, so I'll tell you what. 
I'm gonna do 10 for those. And we're sitting at 200 for just your stuff. Now, I know you cut me a deal on that. Right. So let's just, let's just do 170 all together. Okay. okay. I appreciate that. Yeah. And my next question is, do you have box a okay. box or no? Yeah, I've it, got plenty of boxes. Okay, that way they don't break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now this one right okay. here, you have to watch uh, him. I might, I, I might have. Falls off. Okay. But okay. I, you glue it on. Okay. And it's getting real hot out here now, so the glue yeah. is getting, getting hot. So I would put him by himself. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so check this out. So we are back at the house. Still the same day. Uh, normally I wait a day or so so I can recuperate everything and all that. Uh, so long story short, I believe that uh, we scored huge here today, or at least this weekend, uh, as far as finding items to resell online. So I've, I spent around, I want to say around like 300 something dollars, probably around 315, 320 at most, I believe. Um, we bought a handful of things for ourselves, uh, at least for my wife and yeah, I think it's just for my wife. But, uh, but yeah, so we got tons and tons and tons of stuff. Um, I have not looked up anything, so I will put soul comps on the screen for you guys. The reasoning why is because if you look at everything that I bought today, about 90% of it is probably stuff that I didn't even look up. It's kind of went out on a whim. Um, and yeah, so let's just see how well I actually did. And uh, let's go ahead and start off with uh, the first few garage sales. So welcome me over here. All right, so first and foremost, uh, we did pick up this wool rich cozy blanket wrap um is actually they had a ten dollar price tag on i actually got it for eight um my wife is actually gonna keep this um and it's i mean she's just gonna keep it so but if she didn't keep it just know that we spent eight bucks and this would probably roughly sell for about like 30 something dollars uh original uh msrp for 60 bucks so that's pretty cool but wool rich in general like vintage wool rich can actually go for some big money so but the wife is gonna keep this for the winter time. All right, over here, um, I don't really know how well I'm gonna be doing on all this. This stuff, like I said, I just kinda went out on a limb. Um, so first and foremost, we have this Radio Shack wireless mic system. I thought this was pretty unique, so I don't know. Old vintage, I don't know, I don't even know what year this is from. It does not have a year. But uh, yeah, so if we can find something like this on uh, eBay, we'll put a sole comp on there. Uh, then we got this little Linksys uh, N300 Wi-Fi range extenders. I find these all the time. These usually go for about 15 bucks, and I got it for a dollar. So I figured I'll probably make around, I don't know, maybe eight bucks off of it. Uh, it's always kind of like a bread and butter item that I love picking up. Um, I don't know how much this would go for, but it says five bucks. It is a uh, CD player. Oh, look at that. We got Justin Bieber. Okay, so we came with a free CD, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, you know, obviously we'll clean it up. If it's worth, you know, the money. If not, we'll just donate it or put it in a, a garage sale for cheaper than what we bought it, or maybe same price, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is, I'm trying to find the model number. So this is a Sony alarm clock. It says ICF-CD820. So, uh, I don't know, got that old vintage look to it. Uh, then we got this full projector for five bucks. Um, and it actually comes with some Logitech uh, speakers. So I might just sell the speakers if they're worth it. Um, we're actually, so as soon as I get my my loft turned into like a movie theater, we might end up might end up keeping this uh, projector, but I don't know, we might not, we'll definitely see. But it does come with a remote, all the hookups. Okay, so one garage sale, we ended up getting these uh, Nike Air Maxes. And the number, this is, these are six use. And the number is AV4076-001. Not too sure if there's money to be made, but one thing I do know is that I want to get into shoes. And I thought maybe not, you know, why not $2 for this? You know, might be worth 20, 25, I don't know. Um, then at the same yard sale um, where I found the, uh, let's see. So yeah, so then we have this stuff. So this is the original Harley Davidson uh, foot pegs and they only want a dollar for it. These right here go for about 30, I believe. I, I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones I looked up. This goes for 30 and we got all of this stuff right here for uh, I believe 75 or 77. Um, so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know what these go for. I didn't look these up, but uh, they had $2 on it. So I figured why not? But this is a passing lamp molding kit and that's the part number 68775-93TA. So I figured why not? They spent $21.95 on it, so maybe it's worth 15 bucks. I don't know. Uh, and then these, I spent uh, 10 a piece, and I looked up one of these. Which one did I look up? I looked up this. This right here was going for like $45. If you guys ever see this brand, Kiryakian, that's actually a good brand. Um, and I did not look this up, but I'm assuming closer roughly to the same price. But this is a uh, LED fuel and battery gauge. So... 
we'll make sure to put a soul comp on those two but i think these two might bring all my money back um and uh as far as the records go i didn't want the 45s but he threw them in there the dude is really cool um i won't even go through the 45s because i don't i don't like dealing with them but they actually had a lot of good stuff so this is elvis this is the bgs and it says sergeant pepper so it says aerosmith alice cooper earth win a fire uh, all that good stuff so i don't know there's there's that i don't know anything about records even though i have a ton upstairs that i really need to list and look up but we have uh so we have kansas we have michael jackson there you go another part of michael jackson uh then you got sticks that's actually pretty cool art uh queen very cool bon jovi van halen there you go so these might you know i'll look them up individually any of them that are worth uh listing individually i'll put them out there individually if not they will all go into one lot there's elvis there's survivor eye of the tiger very cool what is this one boardwalk entertainment i don't know what that says joanne jett uh, a couple other ones i'm not too familiar with sheena easton there's rush rush a farewell to kings kenny rogers okay then we got michael jackson again thriller everybody knows that um you know diamond days village people hey that's pretty good uh red hot chili peppers um john wait i don't really know who that is sarah smile and then of course we have like all these down here you guys let me move it real quick all right guys so i had to move some stuff around but uh this one's pretty cool this one says uh the birds the bees and the monkeys and <laughs> the monkeys are pretty good uh i actually have a book in my storage and it's worth like 30 bucks uh it says evie evi come on ring those bells sounds like that sounds familiar uh pisces aquarius capricorn and jones it's actually a pretty good a pretty cool uh print there i don't know oh by the monkeys as well look at that monkeys okay so then we got steppenwolf gold gladys knight in the something <laughs> uh marathon strings praise of worship praise strings four royal heirs elvis separate ways elvis frankie and johnny burning love oh, a lot of elvis um i don't know i am kansas uh carpenters why does that sound familiar too uh motorhead ace of spades got a few more here you guys then we got sticks i love this uh cover look at that that's a beautiful cover um let's see motorhead live and then you have kansas audio visions so i spent 77 dollars plus the 20 so i guess 97 dollars in total for uh all of that um but i'm pretty sure my money is going to be made back in just uh these items here so the harley davidson stuff uh and the uh i, I always forgot how to say this name uh kiriakin or something like that so i think all my money is back in this and then this right here is where i'm going to make my money um, more vice versa i guess like i said i don't know anything about records but there was a lot of good solid stuff here that i figured you know it might be worth a little bit of money all right guys so the next one i got is the sony cardioid microphone f98 um i actually got two more items and i got all three uh for five bucks and i thought this was extremely cool yeah sony everything looked to be in you know really good condition so i figured why not um it was cheap enough to you know maybe you know take a little gamble on it all right guys and this is actually the whole haul so we have all this and uh all this stuff here so um i don't want to get into the uh the other stuff well i guess we'll get into this uh so this right here is a bose uh set of bose speakers or maybe just the uh what was a subwoofer i'm not 100 sure but it does come with a remote comes with the hookups uh he had 15 dollars on him i tried to talk him down to 10 because he said he bought it at a garage sale um and he never even used it or tested it makes me a little iffy but at the same time it was only 15 bucks so i, I didn't think it was a, a bad gamble because the way i look at it if it doesn't work i can always sell the remote and the remote to be uh, seems to be in good condition as you guys can see the red light there um just a little tip and trick all you gotta do is gotta uh, get your phone you guys can actually see like a red infrared light so cameras pick that up so i figure i figured the cables and the remote i can get more than 15 bucks just in case this doesn't work so 15 bucks it probably was my bad to talk them down a little bit but at the same time you know um 
if you don't know it works you know try to haggle a little bit but 15 bucks was worth it all right guys so the garage sale where we got all the garfield stuff um actually a matter of fact this is part of the uh that one yard sale the thing that we got three for five i don't remember what the set what the third one was i think it was that this and then there was one more there's one more item and I don't know where it's at it all in this mix. But anyway, so we got this realistic. I've sold a lot of realistic stuff in the past. They're not like a crazy, you know, profitable brand, but this is a ultra slim condenser microphone. And it says it's a 33 1050. I don't know. Yep. I guess that would be the, the, uh, the soul or the, uh, gosh, I can't talk today. Um, the serial number, model number. And yeah, so that's what it looks like. So we'll put a soul comp. So at the same yard sale where we got all the Garfield stuff, and you guys will see that here at the end. Um, keep in mind, I didn't know what any of this stuff was worth. I just kind of, you know, haggling and, you know, willing and dealing type stuff. So I don't know. Um, but they had all of these uh, hats um, there. And she told me to pay, pay her $10 for the whole box. And I, I couldn't go wrong with that. I mean, I thought this Bass Pro uh, hat was really cool, really clean. And there's some other stuff down here, like... You know, you got some Napa Racing, maybe Chase Authentics, I don't know. No, so that just says Napa Racing. Um, but there's really cool ones in here, like these old Gulfstream ones. Uh, if you guys don't know what Gulfstream is, Gulfstream is a uh, aerospace uh, uh, company. And, uh, you know, they build jets and all type of stuff. This is a little Dodge one. It's pretty cool. It says Springfield Dodge on the side. Um, yeah, a little Gulfstream hat too. Some of this old stuff can go for some crazy money. Uh, year one, I'm not 100% sure what that is uh Gulfstream one team yeah a lot of Gulfstream they said that they were they worked there for like 30 something years her and her husband which is really cool um little NASCAR hat it says sellers um but anyways you guys see some general stuff um but 10 bucks I feel like I feel like there's money to be made there since we're talking about NASCAR stuff at one yard sale I ended up getting uh these two jackets and then one more item all for 130 so essentially we got this for 100 and then we got this one for 30. Um, this one I did look up. Oh, let me just put that hanger back on. I'm going to throw it on the ground there so you guys can see it better. So uh, this one, uh, I actually um, looked up. There's no sole comps in the past 90 days, but these things are going for about $375. I'll probably list mine. Since it's getting closer to Christmas, I'm going to list mine for like $350. And I'm thinking that it will sell. And plus, Bill Elliott is a uh, real uh, collectible as well. Um, that's what it looks like and then on the back Yeah, that beautiful McDonald's racing team logo on the back very clean um, There's a few spots obviously because you know of wear but I mean that's normal in these type of jackets, but uh, I looked on the inside of the liner liner looked very clean and I don't see why I wouldn't be able to get three to three hundred fifty dollars for that. All right. This next one is this nice Dodge one and this one is a Chase Authentics right there, 2XL, very good size. We also checked the inside of this, very nice, has Chase Authentics, like a little print on the inside. Um, very cool. Uh, it does have one itty bitty stain right there, just very, very subtle. Now on the very back, you have this big Dodge Ram logo, and then you have, you know, a couple patches. You got some shoulder uh, decals on it. So I don't know what this one goes for. I did not look it up. Um, I wonder if there's an RN number. And there is, that says RN 93965. So I will put a soul comp on that. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get into the Garfield stuff now. So I saw this um, and keep in mind too, uh, the spice rack stuff, I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, the, so the, the lady was very nice. She just wanted all of the stuff gone. She didn't really care about the price. She said that she knew what she spent on it, but honestly, she just wanted it gone. Um, now if I would have known how much some of this stuff was worth, I probably would have just paid her her normal price. Um, and you guys will understand why. Uh, so this is a toilet seat. I did not look any of this up, by the way. Did not look up any of this. And this is a Garfield uh, 1996 Paul's toilet seat. Don't know if there's any value in the toilet seat, but it's still cool. Made in the USA. All right, and I think all these are collector's plates as well as some in there. And I believe these are all the January through December plates. So uh, let's take a peek at a couple of them. And if I can find a soul comp, uh, soul comp with like all the, all the uh, months, then I'll do that. But look at that. That is really cool. And I believe these are all Danbury Mint. Yes, so these are all Danbury Mint, or Danbury Mint, and I believe we have the full set of these collector's plates. So we'll put a soul comp on the whole collector set. So one thing too, she threw this in, I didn't even know I was buying this, um, but this is a Danbury Mint calendar um, for like a Monday through Wednesday type thing. Yep, Danbury Mint. 
I don't know the year on this one though. Um, but this was still pretty cool. And we have all 31 pieces, or I guess maybe more than 31, but everything's there. Um, I don't know what that goes for, but we'll put a sole comp if we can find it. You guys have already seen all these plates. Well, you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, but then we got all these ornaments. Essentially, we got these for like $2 a piece, but technically we got them for cheaper than that. Because uh, she threw some other stuff in. And, and I don't know. These are all Garfield uh, heirloom collection. So I don't think these are crazy old. At least I don't think. I don't see a year on them. And let's see. Trim a tree ornament. No, 1996. Okay, so it's made by the same company, Paul's. Not Danbury Mint, though. But these are really cool ornaments. So Christmas coming up. Uh, you know, they had little random ones in there, too. So, uh, like I said, if there's money in these uh, ornaments, we'll probably lot them up and sell them all together. All right, so let's look at the the statues. So, these statues are really cool. Like, look at this one right here. These things are crazy cool. So, this one says, sitting on the dock of the bay. Garfield, Danbury Mint. Like, look at that. Look how detailed this thing is. Um, <laughs> and there's the, uh, let's see if we can see the name on it without messing it up. All right, so this is what the name, yeah, so I guess that is the name. Sitting on the dock of the bay, the first Garfield musical figurine collection, 1995 Danbury Mint. It does come with like the little platform that it sits on. So very cool. I'm gonna be very gentle with these, but these are actually musical boxes. Very cool. You guys might be hearing that for a minute. <laughs> um, so the next one is going to be this one right here, and this is also Danbury Mint. This is Anchors Away, also the first Garfield musical figurine. Um, so it's them taking a bath and all that good stuff. It has a shower curtain. It, it, it's, these things are really cool. Danbury Mint stuff makes good quality items. So once again, put a soul cop on these if we can find them. Um, but if, like I said, if these things are going for some crazy money. Uh, she's actually going to be contacting me for some other stuff she has in her attic. Um, so I'm probably going to slide her uh, some more money for for this stuff because in the, the day I'm not I'm not money hungry or anything like that. But at the same time I do believe in good karma and and you know I did talk her down even though I didn't know what any of this stuff was worth. But we have a bunch more here though. We have this. Uh, these aren't the musical ones I don't think. But if you guys look here though, very cool. Garfield's Retreat. Damn Barry Mint, that's what it says. Garfield's Retreat. So that thing is really cool. It's like a little tree house. All right, guys. So we got we have this one pulled. It's really, very, very cool. It's almost like they're at the beach or something. And uh, this one is called Garfield's Poolside Resort. And like I said, that umbrella, see it, see it wiggling there? Um, we'll definitely glue it better. Or what we might do is we might take it off, then take pictures with it. And it says it can be glued back on or something like that. But it definitely devalues it a little bit. I'll put a sole comp on on it regardless but whenever we go to resell we'll put a little you know a little discount on it all right next one it's gonna be this it says eating is everything so there's like a little cookout going on like you got the grill with the brats and the hamburgers on it and this one says let me flip it over real quick you guys i'm being extra careful with it this says garfield's summer barbecue so that's very cool danbury mint and yeah so very very cool all right and then we have this one and i don't know what's going on oh, i guess they're feeding the, the the ducks maybe doing some gardening i don't know let's flip it this way real quick all right this one says garfield's garden okay so they are gardening um so we'll put a soul comp on that i think it's really cool how some of these things are made as you guys can tell, I'm trying to be extra careful because these things are very, very breakable. All right, guys, so now we have two more statues. Now, these things are bigger and heavier. <laughs> so uh, this one says, so this one's also part of the first Garfield musical figurine collection. It says, oh, what a beautiful morning. Let's take a quick look at this. Like I said, I'm trying to do this with all one hand. I apologize, but look at these. These things are freaking amazing. Oh my goodness, got the coffee, breakfast, and bad pancakes. Garfield loves his pancakes. All right, guys, so the next one is called Garfield's Wonderful Wonderful World of Golf. Now, let's see if we can balance this with one hand. There you go, look at this. Garfield all over the place, doing some putt-putt. Very, very cool, you guys, look at that. Danbury Mint, um, I don't know, 
uh, this is the biggest one I have, so I'm guessing 100 plus. I'm not 100% sure on that, but very cool. None of these are broken. Look at that, I got a little dinosaur on the back. That's pretty cool. A little treasure chest, got a bottle, got a key. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Dead fish or something, got a boot. <laughs> it's all types of stuff going on here. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the, the craziest of them all. So if you guys watched the video, I didn't know uh, what this was, um, but this is also made by Danbury Mint. Um, so this thing is extremely cool. Um, and I was actually fixing to leave it because I didn't know what to do with a spice rack, you know, with Garfield, and I didn't know it was it was made by Danbury Mint. So essentially, you have your spice rack, you got your little drawers, then they come with all of these spice jars. Now this is the full collection for the whole thing. So each one of these will sit on there like this, all the way down. Now I actually looked at the, I looked these up as soon as I got to the truck. And this whole set, you're probably looking at $400. And I, and I essentially bought this for $2. She let me have it for $2. But yeah, as you guys can see there, the Danbury Mint 1994 collection. And <laughs> so yeah. This is worth $400 just for these two items. So that's why I feel kind of bad. But at the same time, I didn't know, I didn't know what they were worth. So please do not roast me too hard. Um, she said she knew what she paid for them, but she just wanted them out of the house. So uh, like I said, whenever I see her next time, I'm gonna make sure to slide her some money, uh, some more money because um, I only paid $170 for all of this and the hats, um, or $172. Um, so yeah. That is everything I picked up. I know this is this is probably one of the most craziest hauls I've ever picked up. A lot of good solid uh, garage sales, but also two handful of them that just didn't have anything on them. Um, but yeah, so comment down below. Let me know how I did. Yeah, so it's kind of overwhelming. I know I need to get a lot of this stuff listed, and the fact that Christmas and, and all that type of stuff is coming up, uh, we're still grinding. We're still we're still listing. We're still doing all types of stuff. So uh, so yeah, thank you uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Hopefully we can hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. That'd be amazing if possible, but if not, we're gonna keep on chucking along. And uh, if you guys are learning, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next video. It's your boy, the Georgia Picker, the Young Jedi. Peace. I don't wanna wait.